Hello, welcome everyone to the tutorial. My name is Guo Hao Li, a last year PhD student at Kaos uh, in Saudi Arabia. So I'm here today to present our tutorial on graph machine learning for visual computing. I'm honored to organize this event uh, with uh, Guo Chen, Hishus, Cyril from Kaos, and Ali from the Meta Reality, Reality Lab, Matthias from the Intel Labs, and uh, Bernard from Kaos. So um, before the invited talk start, I will give a very brief introduction about um, graph machine learning and why we care graph machine learning. So the first question is, um, why is graph machine learning important? So, so we see lots of uh, data that lie on those regular grade structure, such as image, video, audio, and test, and uh, even board game. For those uh, regular grade structure, we can use convolutional network or recurrent uh, new network to model them easily. However, in uh, lots of uh, real world application, there are lots of data um, does not lie on those uh, regular grades, um, such as a uh, very complex graph structure data, um, such as uh, social network, citation networks, molecules, um, 3D point counts, and uh, 3D meshes. For those, uh, for those data, we need a powerful tool to represent them. Um, there's a uh, graph network is uh, proven to be one of the most promising tools to represent those complex data structure. Um, <clears throat> so uh, one of the uh, advances in uh, recent uh, in, in the Google products is this uh, chief uh, placement. In, in Google team, they use a uh, graph network to design a uh, new chips uh, use graph network. Wait. Um, I think, uh, yeah. And uh, the other um, important advance is um, using graph network for uh, physical, physical simulation. We can simulate the real physical work, use graph network. And maybe you, you use Google Map on your phone. And, uh, um, and recently, Google team, uh, Google Map team also used graph network to improve your uh, estimate type of arrival on your Google Map. If you are using uh, your Google Map recently, you might find your uh, ETA estimation is getting better and get and better. And one of the Nature paper which uh, published recently used graph network to uh, help with the mathematician uh, to propose. Uh, conjectures um, to help with solving the open mathematical problem. And uh, there are lots of data in visual computing also have this uh, underlying uh, graph structure, such as in computer graphics, we use scene graph to represent um, a scene. Uh, in this uh, example, each uh, object can be represented as a node in the graph, and each Object can associate uh, can be associated with some sub object to represent this uh, scene. In um, in image understanding, people use uh, superficial graph to represent the image graph. Uh, we can group uh, the similar super similar pixel together to form a superficial, and then use this superficial graph to uh, to do image classification or image segmentation. In human modeling, people use a uh, graph to represent human faces and uh, uh, human skeletons. Of course, in, in 3D computation, we have uh, unstructured data such as point count and 3D meshes. Uh, people also use graph network to, uh, to deal with those data by building a KN graph or use uh, the connection of the node uh, on your mesh, or on your face, right? So, so there are lots of um, there are lots of graph structure data in your task 
they may be uh they come from the natural of your data or they uh they are high there are some hidden structure on your data so that's why we care graph machine learning so in today's uh tutorial uh, we will have a speaker and uh, they will be presenting six talk um three of them will be uh on what it will be what it will be virtual talk and three of them will be presenting in person. Uh, each talk will be uh, 15 minutes long and uh, including the QA session. After the first three talks, we will have a 20 minutes break. And uh, after the 20 minutes break, we will uh, have our next three talk intermediate. In today's, in today's uh, tutorial, we will cover uh, the core series of uh, machine graph machine learning and uh, one of the most um, popular graph machine learning programming frameworks. And then we will cover the application of uh, graph machine learning, such as uh, application in video and uh, application in 3D, uh, physical reasoning, and uh, also robotics.